Have you ever noticed that different people try to influence you in different ways? I think this is important to understand not only as the listener, but also as a presenter. Whether someone's a presenter on the podium or in a meeting, the one who controls is the one who leads. We call some the high D, or what's often referred to as dominant style. They like to take the lead by structuring things because it seems most efficient. They structure the agenda. They're people that like to structure the items to be completed, even the action steps that are going to need to be taken. If a high D has positional power, then they're often going to use that as leverage. In fact, you might hear them say something like, as someone who's been in this business for over 25 years, I know the mistakes that a new speaker can make, so here's how I think we ought to deal with that, blah, blah, blah. The high I style is another, and they like to use compliments or flattery to persuade you and win the group over because they want people to feel good about themselves. They also are apt to use humor, why that diffuses any tension, and it just makes things more fun. These are the people who like appreciation and oh, they fear rejection. So you can look for them to say things that help people, well, that help people feel good about themselves. Then there's the high IS, the high S style, and they're the people that like to keep things running smoothly. They're the ones who'll make sure that everybody has contributed, that everybody gets heard. They're also the ones who don't really need the spotlight but they do like to influence behind the scenes. So I guess we could say their influence is more indirect. And then finally, there's that high C, that conscientiousness person that likes logic and reason and information. They like things documented. So they're interested in proof, proof of the factual kind. And because they work really hard to be experts, they leverage their expertise. They're the kind that will remind people that the plan was theirs, and then they'll talk about the rationale that brought them to the conclusion they came to. See, this information is just good for us because it helps us better understand who we're working with. But it's also important to recognize that you probably are going to have all of these in any given audience. So if you're the presenter, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're speaking to all four styles. For that high D, you'll want to get to the point, not only to make things clear, but to include the ROI for them. That's what they're interested in. Keep it structured, concise, provide them with specific recommendations, let them decide. For the I, be personal, tell stories, get them involved, have fun, add humor. And hey, don't forget that whatever you do, you want to make sure they feel good about themselves, appreciate their struggles, commend them for their, their skills and their abilities, compliment them, help them feel like the winners they are. And for the high S's in the audience, be warm and approachable, show them you care about them, show them how something will work, you want to be orderly, and there are times when you need to slow down, especially if you're the kind that tends to get too excited. And finally, for the high D's, Make sure your argument is based on sound reasoning and evidence that you can point to. And of course, be sure to let them know why what you're recommending is important to them. Consider all these types when participating in a meeting or when giving a presentation, because if you do, you are going to see your persuasive power skyrocket.